what's up you guys it's your girl Kenesha welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be talking about the Bologna and the Odeon and then I want to take a look at these two bags together and give you guys an idea for what holds what I was actually just using my Bologna for the last week or so I had an opportunity where today I had an appointment to go to I ended up not being able to carry my Bologna because I wanted to carry a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you exactly what's in my Odeon. I'm gonna show you everything that I had previously in my Bologna as, so that you can get an idea for which bag holds what or why you might be interested in one versus the other. They both have their, their benefits. I found a lot of value in both of these bags. I just figured I would tell you a little bit about what they both can hold. Now, let's see here. Oops. Couldn't believe it. I was trying to stuff more into my Bologna than would fit. And I quickly just grabbed my Odeon. I'll show you what fits in this bag versus what fits in this bag. Why you might be more interested in one over the other. Why I use one over the other. And the value and the benefits that I got out of using both of these bags. So if that interests you, I hope you stay tuned and you stick around. And you subscribe for more. Alright, so let's start with Odeon. I had to quickly move out of this bag, you guys, because I had all of my SLGs in here, my small leather goods, but I needed to get my, sorry, hiccups, if you notice, come out of nowhere. And so I always like to have a bottle of water. I noticed that when I wanted to add a little bit more to my Bologna, it wasn't working out. I wanted some snacks and some water for today and it just wasn't gonna fit, so. Here's what's not gonna fit in the Bologna. If you're carrying a whole bunch of other SLGs in there, is a full-size bottle of water. Plus, yes, my butterscotch cream fits. Yes, I need two snacks. Everything else that you see in my old deal basically fits in the Bologna. I think that is what's so amazing about both of these bags is they're incredibly similar. I think that the Bologna is the size, the full size, of the Odeon MM, but a height capacity size, if you will, of the Odeon PM. I've been doing some research, taking a look at some of the other reviews that people have left regarding the Odeon PM and the Odeon MM. And what they've said is you get more value for your money if you go with the larger size. The Odeon PM is like $1,770. MM is $1,900, I believe. And the Bologna is $1,980. If you were interested originally in the PM size, I've heard sometimes like it was the length that was just a little too short. The width was just a little too narrow. You get the best of both worlds, either getting the MM size in the Odeon or the Bologna size instead of the Odeon PM. You know, that's just my opinion and I definitely don't want to detract from any beautiful ladies, beautiful bags, that's not what I'm saying. Just giving options for my own personal aesthetic and bag profile is I definitely realized that I need a little bit more space just a little bit more space I'm gonna carry my snacks not for me but for my kiddos I mean it could be for me but you know then I might need a little bit of a bigger bag these bags are incredibly similar which is why I suppose I like them so much I mean just look at the beautiful curve and art to this bag they are so similar and when I think of the Kusa, when I think of the Kusa, the Kusa Pian, guys, the beautiful red Kusa Pian, I think of that pool tab at the end, the leather tab of the, of the Kusa. I think of the beautiful hardware situation on the sides. I think back to myself, Louis Vuitton creators. Oh, I understand my hesitation with that bag. All along, I was thinking, hasn't really made hardware on the side that does not interfere with the strap, right? They have. Hasn't Louis Vuitton made zippers in the past that do not end one inch out from the bag? They have, yes. Yes, they have. That is my whole challenge and issue with the Kusan PM is beautiful as that bag was, when it would go to expand, I was not comfortable with the way the expansion would look. I don't even know why because 
I think that bag is so similar to one of my favorite bags, the Pochette Métisse. And I look at the width of the Boulogne and I think to myself, well, the width of this would definitely be a little bit wider than the width of the Odeon. I mean, I think this is about 3.3 .3 or 3.5 inches wide, and this is 3.7. It's perfect for me because as someone commented on one of my videos, on this video, the Bologna actually, what they don't like about this bag is for someone with wider hips or bigger hips, it might stick out a little bit more if you think about it. If that's a, the case, then I wonder if what you might think of the Odeon, would you still say that, no, that's not gonna work for you because it still sticks out. But I felt with the Cousin, I felt that bag would definitely stick out. Like that bag was definitely about to expand and I couldn't understand sort of how I would manage with the hardware where like this just goes right over the edge. No issue, no problem. I was feeling every time if the hardware have, had to go over the leather pull tab, I was gonna be really concerned and worried about whether I would be damaging that tab in any way. There was just too much of a hesitation for me to go on with the Cousin. And there you have it. I am quite satisfied and pleased with the Bologna, as you can see. Let's continue taking a look at the differences between my Odeon and my Bologna. As you can see, I've got a Bikeva leather strap on the Odeon, and I've got black leather strap for the Bologna. These bags actually come in both natural Bikeva as well as black leather. The reason why I decided to get the Bologna in black is because I already had the Odeon and the Keta Natural Leather. Here's something interesting that I am curious for my friends who have Bologna in the Natural Vaqueta Leather. How are the corners to you? Are they more substantial to you or do they have any give? Do you see when I press on the corners of the Bologna how it can actually fold in? This bag to me has a lot more give to it on the leather corners than my Odeon with the Viqueta leather. I press on the leather here and it doesn't give. It doesn't fold in, it doesn't crease, and I don't want it to. Just wondering for my bag twins out there with the Odeon in black or the Bologna in Viqueta natural leather, how does your leather hold up to you, in your opinion? Look, I find that it's creasing right there. It's not gonna be stuffed all the way down to the corners, but I'm like now putting my finger there and it's not punching out. I feel like there's only going to be more creasing that happens here. I can't say that that really bothers me. I am pointing it out to you all because I noticed it in case it bothers you, but you should know that I felt that the leather was less substantial on the Boulogne. Part of the beautiful design of the bag, I just think that the Vaqueta leather on the Odeon is a little bit heftier, harder, more durable. Definitely looking at these straps. You get two straps with the Boulogne. Maybe that's the reason why it's a little bit of a higher price point because you get the gold chain. What you don't get is a second pocket with the Boulogne. You get one interior pocket with the Boulogne. With the Odeon, not only do you get an interior pocket, get this outside huge pocket that I think is great for holding your phone and usually carries my phone, my face mask in there. And then I also think what's great about the Odeon is it's got the leather tag on it. The Bologna does not come with a leather tag, but it does come with the gold chain. Meanwhile, the strap on the Odeon comes with just one beautiful thick strap and beautiful gold engraved hardware that says Louis Vuitton that's also detachable. What's great about that is it means that if I did want to use the Odeon with the gold chain, I could. I actually use my Odeon with a different chain. I usually use it with this chain, which comes from a different Louis Vuitton bag called the Biface. But as you can see, this is about the, the size of the gold hardware. This is about the biggest size that I wanna go. This size is perfect. This is about like also perfect for like the Bologna. I think this is um, also like a similar size to like the mini luggages bags. This goes with the bite base. I wear it with this bag whenever I want to have it as shoulder carries. I normally will wear this bag on the shortest strap length to make it shoulder carry. For the Bologna, this is also on the shortest strap length in order to make it shoulder carry. You can see that this rises up a little bit higher than the Odeon.
you can definitely see the bologna is a little bit shorter in length but wider in width in the odio and then they both have that wider base and they narrow at the top as they go up a little bit higher they both have different side situations going on here one the bologna has the pull tab and the odeon has no tab look at that no tab just these beautiful gold rings and beautiful gold hardware going through the rings what's inside my odeon everything that's in there let's move it all over to the bologna and then you will see the dilemma i encounter when i, and I then try to add my snacks can't go anywhere without my snacks so I don't get hungry and end up with pounding headache and have to do another ASMR video that I know you guys were like what is this ASMR she's not talking but don't you guys get headaches and after a long week I mean listen and relax to the music guys enjoy the good vibes enjoy your lives all right a fabulous addition to the Bologna you guys the slim purse <sighs> When we talk about wallets that fit this bag, obviously I could do with my very small, much smaller Gucci card wallet. But the best thing about this slim purse is this is like a card wallet on steroids. Instead of four little card slots, I get eight. Instead of one little zipper that I have to fold my dollars, I get a full zipper. Instead of having no place to put any receipts or my stamps, I have a place to put my stamps, you guys. I mean, you guys are like, $510 for this little thing? $510, I think, is amazing. I would have paid $400 for my Gucci little card case. I probably would have paid $400 for a Louis Vuitton little card case. $500 for something that gives me everything in a bigger wallet, in the slim profile of a card wallet, I will take it. Thank you, Louis Vuitton creators. Good work. Moving on. We also need our pochette accessoire with the giraffes. Aren't they cute and precious? I can't believe it. I can carry my pochette accessoire in this bag. I actually feel like I can't carry that in smaller bags. And my Dogen mini wallet. I have to stand it up, but it fits. And my round coin purse with the polar bears. Look at how cute they are. They're a little family. My coin pouch. And don't forget a phone. I like to put my phone back here in the skit. Everything is perfect in here. When I tell you what fits in here is perfection. It's perfection. I couldn't believe it. Symmetrically placed. Everything has its little place in there. Look at that. Nothing moves around. I don't really care for my items to slide around in my bag. I felt like this was just perfect for me. Perfect setting for my shoulder. Perfect in terms of weight because I don't want to carry much more than this and now I'm not carrying a fat full-size wallet. And if I wanted to carry a little card wallet, I could. I think that's amazing. Or if I want to carry my little slim purse, I mean, wow. What you'll see is now that this bag is filled out, I can still see the indentation there and a little bit on this side as well because this is the back of the bag that I typically would carry against my side like that. So I guess when I'm leaning my arm against my side, the side of the bag, I might be indenting it. But I kind of feel like maybe I'll be, maybe it should have been a little bit more sturdy, the material. Or is this just the model that I got? I hope I didn't get a defective model and the leather is just a little bit less durable. But you guys tell me. Maybe, maybe that's just the way they made this bag and it's all good. It's all good. I think it's great. I think it's great. And what's the last thing I wanted to show you guys? Oh, trying to fit all my snacks in this bag. I don't think you will be successful if you try to do this. Let's try to do it anyway. Try to fit these snacks in this bag. I didn't meet with success, but let me show you what will happen. I got it. I would have to take something out to meet with success. Wanted my little crimpet. I had two snacks today. I don't want to smush my crimpets. Who else loves, loves these? Remember these? And you like to eat the like icing. Some people like to take the icing off. Some people don't even eat the little crimpet part. Mmm, it's delicious. Butterscotch. And then I would want to put my bottled water somewhere. Okay, like 
This is literally what happened to me when I was getting ready to run out the door today. I was like, wait a second, wait a second. I need my hands free and my bag is supposed to carry all this stuff, not me, right? That's why we buy these things. People are like, you buy and spend all this money for a bag to carry your stuff. Yes, I sure do. So it wasn't working out. And because it wasn't working out, look what I had to do. I said, not today. I said, this is not gonna fly today. And I went and I grabbed all my items. I stuffed up the odium. I packed her full. And I didn't even have to worry about space because you guys, this bag has plenty of space. This bag is now empty. <laughs> This bag is empty and I'm like, well, we still have more items that we need today. We have to make sure we are not hungry, okay? Yeah. Packed up my bag and I was ready to go. So all of this to say, long story short, both of these bags are wonderful, amazing, and phenomenal. I highly recommend them both for different reasons. This bag has the potential to be more elegant if you want to remove the leather strap and just carry it as a little clutch. It's beautiful like this as well. I believe with this bag, this bag is just the perfect width. When it widens at the top and you need it to carry just a little bit more, but not too much more, I feel like this is the bag that I can go to without having all of my stuff roll around and slide around inside. Everything is still nicely ordered. You guys are like, are you sure? Because I saw you throw all of your snacks in there. I threw it in there, but if I hadn't thrown it in there, it's still very nicely ordered in my opinion. Like all of my items, all of my SLG items are on the bottom. And I got my snacks on the top and I got my water bottle on the side there. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. I don't need any more space. I think this is a great bag. If you have this bag or you decide to go for that bag, and I think this bag is just as great for other purposes for me. Sometimes I just don't wanna to carry too much. Sometimes it's a little too much for my shoulder. Sometimes I just wanna run around the playground with my kiddos and this might be a little too big. I think this would be perfect. So that is my assessment and my thoughts on the Odeon compared to the Bologna and I hope you enjoy and that you subscribe and I thank you so much for watching and until the next time.